in terms of human perception of space, in terms of habitation, in terms of a place, as a place of work or place of rest, how your uh, use models uh, are uh, how, it, how it works. How it works. <laughs> থাকে <laughs> থাকে <laughs> যখন ওয়েস্ট থেকে ইস্টে যাব তখন আমার হচ্ছে গ্যারান্টিটা বেড়ে যাচ্ছে আবার যখন ইস্ট থেকে আবার ওয়েস্টে যাব তখন গ্যারান্টিটা কমে যায় ইস্ট ওয়েস্ট বরাবর হচ্ছে এই পরের ক্ষেত্রে যেন এই ইফেক্টটা হয় তো আমার হচ্ছে যত মেজর সার্কুলেশন গুলো হচ্ছে নর্থ সাউথ বরাবর রাখা হয়েছে যাতে হচ্ছে স্যার এভিডে এভিডে কাজ খেলার যে এরিয়াটা সেটা আমি হচ্ছে ইস্টে যখন হচ্ছে 
uh, generate or transport uh, earth like atmosphere, or generate earth like atmosphere in terms of the right mix of oxygen and nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Right? Here's the solution. Yeah. Yeah, uh, would we talk about this kind of, no, uh, extraterrestrial space conditions, because it also resonates with some of our earthly conditions. When in Earth, we often take for granted that we go to the air once we open a window, we're not looking at it from a scientific point of view, we just draw some magic airs, uh, magic arrows, and show that, you know, wind will come through that window and go up from that window. These kind of things are happening in, uh, in, uh, on Earth. Who, without much uh, result, uh, resolving to scientific understanding of uh, atmosphere uh, that's happening here. So architects need to understand how the upper atmosphere of the air and the, and the climate interacts with the building and the size of windows and the walls, things like that. So although we're talking about a uh, uh, thing in space, but we're also you know, getting some understanding of feedback on what we're doing on the Earth as well. So it has, uh, you know, a ramification for Earth architecture as well. So that's, what, what, from that point of view, I think it's a very valid, very valid design project for people on Earth who are, to do, who are going to do practice. We take things for granted in terms of light and radiation, air and energy, uh, but out there when you have nothing and you have to, you know, uh, to uh, you know, develop everything out there, so you can really uh, understand the value of it. On our, somebody doing a building here on Earth will you know have a deeper understanding if you look at what's uh, what are the challenges in space or in and on Mars as well. So I think from that point of view, it's a very uh, interesting and, and a valuable design question uh, to design space, uh, uh, design buildings or. You know, structures in space. Uh, I think uh, that would be my comment. Recently, we experimented with the photocom. I mean, volume of the oxygen volume of the oxygen of so, the green uh, 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 and it's covering 192 populations. Yeah. And you're showing in your, in your diagram that the oxygen is coming through the vegetations and adding the carbon dioxide to the vegetation. I think he has gone through some those details. It is a living port. A living port is a water layer factor. A connection is a radiation to bear that. It is a inflator. The water is a water. Water is a pretty cost effective radiation shield. When the shield water is a factor, it is a shield issue. 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 Radiation. Now, water shock. Radiation is water. We need to the material, the cable material, which is used for the maximum production there. The is water. is actually Thank you. Um, I want to say, I'm to ask you 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 to